Today, we're gonna use the fact that wax resists water to make a wax resist painting. And it's gonna be a really cool take on a fossil find. So the first thing you'll wanna do is gather your materials. You're gonna need white paper, a white crayon, watercolor paint, and a paintbrush. And don't worry if you don't have watercolor paints because you can mix food coloring with water and it'll work the same way. The more food coloring you add, the darker your paint will be, but you're gonna to wanna to be careful because food coloring will stain. Next, we're gonna draw our design on our white paper using our white crayon. And since I'm gonna do this like a fossil find, I'm gonna be drawing some dinosaur bones and footprints and skeletons and things like that. But you can draw whatever you like. And then once you're done drawing, it's time to paint. I always like to just give this to the kids without telling them what's on it. I'll just give them the piece of paper and tell them they're gonna paint over it. That way, as they start painting and that crayon wax resists the watercolor, my drawing's gonna show up and it's like this surprise reveal that always gets them super excited to learn more about whatever I've drawn on the paper. Whether it's fossils or an underwater scene, this is also a great way for kids to send secret messages to each other. And what's cool is that this is an art technique that uses the science that wax will repel water. You can think about wax and water a lot like oil and water in that they don't wanna to mix together. And you can find examples of this throughout nature. Beeswax is one of the main building components in a beehive, and not only does it help protect inside the hive, but humans have been using beeswax to waterproof materials throughout history. And if you've been to visit us at Discovery Place Science and checked out the rainforest, you might notice that the leaves in the rainforest have a waxy coating on them. That's gonna help repel the water. The rainforest gets so much water, the plants don't wanna take too much of that in. So that waxy coating is gonna help the water beat up and roll right off the leaves. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you find a way to work art into your next science lesson, and I hope you have fun with this. Bye, guys!